Hey guys, welcome back to extrudesign.com. In the previous video, we have discussed about inertia. Inertia is a resistance force of a physical object to any change in its state of motion. In this video, we are going to discuss about moment of inertia. Moment of inertia is nothing but the resistance force of an object to any change in its angular acceleration. Let us consider a physical object which is made up of small particles. The mass moment of inertia of the physical object can be expressed as the sum of products of the mass in the square of perpendicular distance from the point which is fixed. A point which causes the moment about the axis passing through it. The moment of inertia can be denoted by I. Let us take a consideration of physical body having a mass of m. This is composed of small particles whose masses are m1, m2, m3, etc. respectively. The perpendicular distances of each particle from the line as shown in figure are k1, k2, k3, etc. From the above statement, the mass moment of inertia for the whole body can be written as I is equal to m1 k1 square plus m2 k2 square plus m3 k3 square so on. From the concept of center of mass and center of gravity, the mass of the body is assumed to be concentrated at a point. The mass at that point is m. The perpendicular distance of the point from the fixed line is k. Hence, m1 k1 square plus m2 k2 square plus m3 k3 square so on equal to m k square. This is equation 2. So, we can write i is equal to m k square. So, where k is shown as the radius of gyration. Radius of gyration can be said as the perpendicular distance from the axis to the point at which the whole mass of the body is to be assumed to be concentrated at that point only. And also it should be satisfy the equation 2 which is expressed above. Then only it said as the radius of gyration. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.